How's it going guys and girls? This is Mustard here once again bringing you some Necromancer Shinnok. As you can see on my last rank match video, I gave you guys some uh, Bone Shaper, but uh, Necromancer is a character that you've not really seen me explore too much. Um, I do play this variation, albeit not as much as I have the other two, but I do think Necromancer has its place, I do think it's very powerful. Um, it's very matchup dependent though, I mean if you've got a very fast run or a great air mobility you do give Necromancer problems, but at the end of the day he's got some very interesting BNB, some really cool setups with the unblockable hand, but we'll see what I can do for you guys today. So you going to throw the soul ball? Alright. Alright, first tick goes to me, that's good. Oh wow, and there's the teleport in the neutral. Oh my god, I missed it again. Okay, there we go, I've got something on the table. I can use two bars for the damage hit. There we go, got it. Oh. Can we jump over? This guy is down wanting a lot. Interesting. Teleport. I'll give you to my meter. We'll save it. There we go. That's all the traders looking for. Well, there's no point using my only bar when I was definitely gonna win on even chip alone. Summon fiend. Uh, so summon fiend is not gonna work against uh, Mac. Okay, flick. And he's just gonna run through it straight through it. They buffed the tracking on the flick and the. Uh, oh man. Oh man, him. There's another teleport. Oh, got it. Wake up four dash. Very hard to get read on players like this. Nope, not you. Mate, it's not your turn to press buttons. Teleport. Oh. I was going to try and be cool and go for the uh, splat, but no, that would do. Oh my word. I find it so stressful fighting characters with 50-50s online, especially in rank match, because you just don't know the tendencies of the guys you're against. Obviously, 50-50s are 50-50s. Like, it's a guessing game nonetheless, but players do have tendencies. Like Some will go overhead more. Some will, like, For example, that Amak, not once did he do the back three. Not once did he do the low option, but I know it's still a threat. So at the same time, I've still got to worry about it. Then you chuck into teleporting in the mix you've got the soul ball i've got to respect and that's a lot for necromancer shinnok to deal with because necromancer shinnok his projectiles don't exactly recover quickly because they're not really projectiles like it's very unconventional zoning with necromancer it's good but it's unconventional so it's quite easy to trade um with for example like his flick is going to trade with a lot of projectiles it's usually a good trade in your favor because it does 10 percent damage but if that's trading with an ermac soul ball then that's giving him like plus 30 percent meter so that's not a trade you want to take so you have to approach matchups like that very differently, which is unfortunate. And I was trying to be swaggy and go for the Necromancer Brutality, but alas, we didn't get it. At some point, I will. I promise. I promise you guys now, I will get it at some point. We just have to wait for your Jedi Master Yoda to pick his character. Oh, please don't make us wait. I want to play. I really want to play. I mean, it's like I said before, Necromancer is the, it's the variation I've played the least by far, but it's good. I do think it's really powerful, but it's uh, it's matchup dependent. I mean, I can see Ermac, fast, a fast board run, good air mobility. So, dodging the summoned fiends, his sprint runs past the flick, so it's just something you've got to worry, watch out for. Looks like he's playing Cryomancer Sub Zero, so I've got that armored hammer to worry about. Awesome. Oh. Mike? Round one, fight. He's asking if I've got a mic. I do, he's just not plugged in. Is he gonna slide? Oh, 50, 50! Why? Nope. Okay, got it. Uh, there's a slide. Oh, got it. Use the bar. And it dropped. Oh, that's a shame. Is he going to punish? Yes, he is. Wow, oh, we actually punished it. There it is. There we go. I thought it was going to wake up and I'll uh, go for the trade on the, on the flick so I'll do the damage and it'd kill him anyway. Kind of wanted him to wake up to use the bar. I got it. Oh, and there's the input error from me. That sucks. Health sparks. Yeah. 
Then we go in for the pressure. Neutral jump punch with a block pressure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there it is. I missed. There's the punish. Oh, my word. So aggressive. Always so aggressive in rank matches. You just want to slow it down and play a bit patient, but you never can. Yeah, GG man, GG. My word. I mean, Necromancer is a slow variation, but if I'm fighting hyper aggressive characters, then it's just going to get really stressful. There we go. I mean, one thing that you can do with Necromancer that I enjoy doing a lot is um, his, his meter burn flick is, uh, is a swift backhand, does quite a lot of damage by itself. So the earlier you use it in the combo, the less it's going to scale. So you actually give yourself quite a, a chunky amount of damage. But Meter Burn Hand sets up for, uh, Meter Burn Flick even, sets up for an unblockable splat very well. And if you use the Meter Burn unblockable hand, it beats Delay Wake Up and is practically guaranteed. But uh, it uses a lot of meter, because if you're hit confirming into a combo, like if you're going to use a Meter Burn to launch the opponent, a Meter Burn to do the Meter Burn Flick, and a Meter Burn for the uh, Meter Burn unblockable hand, that's three bars. Yes, it's going to bag you well over 50% damage, but it's hyper situational. And, uh, more times than not I will go for the meter burn flick and then just a simple normal unblockable hand because a lot of people will see me go for it and then panic and tech roll and not delay their wake up and delaying wake up is actually how you beat that but if they tech roll it's going to hit them and a lot of the time they won't realize that but if they want to instantly tech roll and then run at me I can always hold the fiend in front of them but we'll have to wait and see if I have to do that at any point if I actually find a third match which I hope doesn't take too long Oh, come on. Don't make me wait too long. Please. Oh, come on. Join match. Yes. This looks good. This looks good. There we go. Forever blessed. He'll do. Which one am I? Shinna. I'm player two. Shinna. Oh, he took my colour! Now, Necromancer Imposter, this matchup sucks for Necromancer. It absolutely, 100% hardcore sucks for Necromancer. Because Tricky Portal. Tricky Portal shuts down every single move you get in Necromancer. And uh, you just have to be waiting for it. But obviously, then you check online into the mix, it's going to be a lot harder. And he's got my colour. Nope. Okay, I got it. Oh, he broke. He blocked it. My word. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. I wonder why he's doing so much neutral jump. There it is. Interesting. My word, this guy's kind of all over the place. Okay, got it. Ah, oh, missed. Nope. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm not quite sure what this guy is trying to do in the neutral. I mean, he's he's airborne a lot, but I think that might be trying to beat my summon fiend. Okay. He's not going for any lows though. He's up to go for the throws more at 12% oh. before he gets damage buff. Okay, he goes for the grab. Is he gonna meet Ben Wake Up? That seems to be all he's doing though. Jump in block one into Oh Sparks. Nah, I blocked it. Oh. Oh, and there it is. That is that is exactly why this matchup sucks for Necromancer. And he just goes to grab. This guy's not going for any 50-50s. It's just throws all the time. And there's the trail sparks. I mean, I'm really finding it hard to get a read on what this guy's doing.
Oops, that's not what it. It's absolutely all over the place. Which we did last time. Just in the air all the time. Oh. Nope, doesn't work from that range. What's he doing? And there it is! There it is! Oh wow, okay. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Well, that was annoying. Just constantly in the air. But the thing is, you can get away with that as imposter. Against a character that can't shut down jumps from full screen, you could one million percent get away with jumping around like that as imposter. Because any time it could turn into a tricky portal, so I have to constantly be ready for it and waiting. But as Necromancer, I'm not going to want to keep just randomly neutral jumping because I don't have any options in the air. So if he jumps and I want to jump with him to try and punish it, that's not what I want to be doing as Necromancer because I can't do anything in the air. All of my Necromancer attacks are meant for mid to full screen, um, mid to full screen and grounded. That's what you do with Necromancer. But jumping beats that, and Imposter has some of the best air movement in the game in Tricky Ball, considering just the speed in which you can enforce your options afterwards. Well, I've got to fight the guy again. I don't want to do this again. That wasn't a fun match. That was just, he's going to jump, but when is he going to Tricky Ball? But I guess I'm going to have to try and beat it again. And he's got my colour again. Oh, he hasn't! No, he's gone Samurai. Excellent. I get the normal colour. This makes me happy. <sighs> Alright, let's do this again. My word. Apologies if I don't talk much in this one, guys. I'm just going to try and concentrate on just getting this match out of the way. Oh, of course. Nope. <sighs> it's the exact same match. <sighs> the exact same match as before. Oh my god, this is the worst! I just, every time, I don't think he's gonna jump or press a button. He does the exact opposite, every time. What is he doing? Stop it! Please! My god, this is the worst! Wake up. They whip into down three, I'll wake up. Okay. Oh, and I won that trade. The first air to air I've won all match. Promise it's just costing me all of my bar. All of it. <sighs> and it's always a different direction as well. Always a different direction. No. And he did the other direction again! Oh my god! True 50-50s. Stop! I'm just walking on my 50 50s. Nope. Nope. And that is that. You know what? I'm going to do this because that was not an enjoyable match whatsoever. But we'll take it. It's just every time. Every time. Oh. 
just that matchup is so bad for Necromancer, so horrifically bad. Because what do you do? He's just gonna jump all game, and Necromancer's not gonna stop it because he can't. You can't do unblockable fiend because he can tricky portal it on reaction anywhere on the screen at any time. He can tricky portal hell sparks as well. Jumping beats flick and it beats summon fiend. Like every special move that uh, that Shinnok has in Necromancer, Tricky Portal will shut down. It's just not an enjoyable match. I mean, yes, it was irritating the amount he was jumping him out, but it was completely understandable because that's what you do against Necromancer. Problem is, he wasn't reacting with Tricky Portal. He was kind of just doing it, which made it very hard to predict. And yes, granted, it got him around, but ultimately it is what lost him the game. My word. Oh. You know what? Let's just get this out of the way. Let's just get this out of the way so I can move on. You guys will see another Necromancer video for me at some point, but this will be the last match today. Shinnok, Shinnok. <sighs> My goodness. Out of the thousands of people playing at this very moment, why would it put us together three times in a row? Why would it do this to me? I have to play like an idiot. That's what annoys me about having to fight imposter. I have to play like a complete idiot. Round one. I'm gonna jump in at him to start off just to show how much I mean. Uh, nope. Minus seven, you shouldn't be able to do that. What? I'm sorry, plus after a late neutral jump kick. Ugh. Nope. Can't confirm. Put some buttons. <sighs> yeah, I missed it. You can break. Yeah, of course he is. He's not blocking low. He's not blocking low ever. I mean, you'll notice I'm not even doing specials anymore because I can't. I literally can't. I'm gonna try a flick, and he's gonna yeah, he's just gonna run in. Flick. Did that reaction to punish. Okay, I got it. Now, summon fiend. Okay, I got one. That's fine. Wake up forward dash. Oh my god, he's doing it. He's not doing any tricky balls anymore. Come on, do it. Nope. Oh my goodness. My down two is one of the best of the game. Uh, now we're in vortex town. And he's not going low. Okay, I'm just going to block high again. What? That is minus seven! Why did my down three not win? Oh my god! This is the worst! Why am I getting so mad? What is... Oh, and it missed! Why did it miss? Oh! Oh! It's minus seven! Thank you! One of them worked! And it missed again. Oh my god. This is the worst match! That's it. That's it. I'll do it. Tricky portal, damn it. Yes! Yes! Oh, what is it? What is it? Down up, down up, RT. 
Yes! No more! No more of this video! I'm sorry guys, that is it. That is done. That is me finished because I am not enjoying this anymore. I have dealt with three matches in a row of the Kiwi-headed Samurai Imposter Shenok. Oh, no disrespect intended to you, Forever Blessed. You played the match up well to the point that I am seething with anger. But that is it done. That That is it done. I apologize in advance for my behavior, but we're done. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the content, as usual, please uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitch at PNDCatchup, twitch.tv PNDCatchup. I'm going to go calm down now, and uh, I will see you guys next time.